Irish whiskey, a name synonymous with coffee, Jameson, and that one dude punching the other dude in the bar. But what exactly is Irish whiskey and why should you be drinking it? Let's start at the beginning. Irish whiskey has a long and storied history that dates back to the 12th century when Irish monks first began distilling spirits. These early spirits were made from malted barley and they were known for their high quality and purity. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the Irish whiskey industry began to grow as distilling techniques improved and demand for whiskey increased. By the early 19th century, Irish whiskey was the most popular spirit in the world with over a thousand distilleries operating in Ireland. In order to save Irish whiskey from fading away, many of these distilleries put all their eggs in one basket. John Power and Son, John Jameson and Son, and the Cork Distillery Company all merged to form the Irish Distillers Group, which allowed them to compete on the global stage and may have saved Irish whiskey altogether. Now that we know where it comes from, how about how it's made? Irish whiskey is made from a mixture of malted and unmalted barley, which is mashed with hot water to create a sugary liquid known as wort. Yeast is added to the wort, which converts the sugars into alcohol in a process known as fermentation. The resulting liquid, known as wash, is then distilled three times in copper pot stills to create a spirit with a high alcohol content. Irish whiskey is typically triple distilled, which means that the spirit is passed through the pot still three times. This process results in a smoother and more refined spirit with a higher alcohol content than a single or double distilled spirit. In addition to copper pot stills, some Irish whiskey producers also use column stills, which are more commonly associated with Scotch whiskey production. Column stills are tall, vertical structures that allow for a continuous distillation process, producing a high proof spirit with a neutral flavor profile. However, the use of column stills in Irish whiskey production is relatively uncommon, and most Irish whiskies are still produced using traditional copper pot stills. Irish whiskey comes in four different styles. Pot still whiskey is unique to Ireland. It's made from a mash of malted and unmalted barley, which is triple distilled in traditional copper pot stills. This produces full, complex flavors and a wonderful creamy mouthfeel. Grain whiskey is typically produced from a mash of maize and malted barley, usually in a column still. Blended whiskey is one that contains two or more types of whiskey. Jameson, for example, is a blend of pot still and grain whiskey. You can also marry whiskey or finish whiskey. So in the case of Redbreast pot still whiskeys, of which some have been aged in X bourbon barrels and some in X sherry casks, they're married together to create a particular brand. The term married rather than blended is used to avoid confusion as all the whiskey used to make Redbreast is pot still whiskey. Some of the most well-known Irish whiskey brands include Jameson, Bushmills, Tullamore Dew, and Redbreast. These brands have a long history and are known for their quality and distinctive flavors. There are also a number of newer brands that have entered the market in recent years, such as Teeling Whiskey, which was founded in 2012 and produces a range of single malt and blended whiskies. The future of Irish whiskey is bright and has experienced a resurgence in recent years and is the fastest growing style of whiskey in the world, with a number of new distilleries opening up around the country. As of today, there are over 40 operational distilleries in Ireland, with more in the planning and construction stages. I hope this has been a great introduction to Irish whiskies, and although it's the oldest style of whiskey we know of, it's something that can still taste entirely new. If you learned something new, make sure to drop a like. If you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments and hit subscribe. Have a great rest of your night. Cheers.